All right, scientific realism uh, is, is the claim that science aims at truth and that we should label scientific theories as true, approximately true, or likely true. All right, just using truth as in, its, in various degrees. Now, there's obviously a big difference between true, approximately true, and likely true. There's a, there's a difference there, right? But scientific realism says that these are the way we should label things. True, likely true. And we're going to see some people that don't necessarily think that we should label it that way. All right, we're going to see somebody here in a minute. Um, do you think that's the way we should label things? If science finds something, we should call it truth. Carbon dating. Let's throw that example out there. And I haven't kept up with the latest on that. Uh, but uh, going back to our early, earlier discussion about empirical verification of things, how do we really know how accurate carbon dating is? I mean, you can give me a whole bunch of mathematical and great reasons. I'm, I'm not saying that if somebody could come up with some really good stuff that they've discovered over the last, you know, 50, 60 years in, in the realm of carbon dating. But... Ultimately, how do you really know how old something is? How do you really, how do you really know? Well, I mean, using carbon dating, for example. How do you really know how old something is? You don't. It's, um, you can, by observation, you can sit there and watch an animal die with a seal or something like that, and then they'll come by and carbon date it, and the skin measures it like a thousand and a half years ago, and then the bones of it, or the head of the seal, will be like 3,000 years ago. You just saw it die. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I mean, I, I would think that they could do better than that. Uh, I haven't heard anything that uh, far off. But um, let's look at the method. You know, scientifically, let's look at that method for a second. Let's think about that. Um, how long has the study of carbon dating been around to be able to capture the data to see the decomposition of things? Um, Within the last century, I'm sure, right? I, mean, I haven't gone back and found it exactly when they started that. But within that, like, the I last. I just did a discussion board about carbon dating on, in my other science class. So. Oh, really? There's one. There's a discussion board in the science class about it. Okay. So I mean, it, it sounds great, but when you're talking about tens of thousands of years and predicting with accuracy based on studies that have only been done in the last century, let's see, give it that long, let's say the last hundred years. How can you take that small span of time and say it necessarily that we know for sure things are going to decompose at this rate over this period of time? What if things slow down, speed up over thousands, millions of years? How can you really, really accurately date something based on data that you've only collected in the last 200 years, 300 years even, 1,000 years. How can you accurately predict something over a million years decomposing? You can't. How can you? Is that fair? Scientifically, is that really fair? Because you have it marked here. It would be, it would be fair to say over the last 100 years we can predict something that's decayed over 50 years, 100 years. Because we have that much study to say, we know exactly how things decompose over this period of time in these circumstances, so on and so forth. That would be pretty, pretty fair, right? That would be pretty fair to say. Pretty, I mean, you could probably come up with some accuracy on that, some pretty good accuracy. But when you're talking about millions of years, now granted, they may look at things that they know from historically and so on and so forth. They're going back, but actually going back in that long span of time and saying things decompose like this over that period of time is really uh, not fair. I mean, when you're talking about empirical data, it's not fair to say, we know this is true. Okay? And likely true don't get it when you're trying to date millions of years. That's really not fair. I mean, it's really not fair. Okay, so uh, this is one of those things that, and, and, and there's no disrespect to anyone who has put their livelihood into the study of these things. I think it's, it's worthy study. However, Let's, let's leave it at theory and let's, let's be cautious about calling things true because there's a lot of theory in that. All right. Okay, and when is a theory? In your science classes, you're basically, when do you call it 
a, a when you make a, a theory, you have a hypothesis, right? You do an experiment, and then if it comes out pretty good, then you have a, a theory. When, at what point would you call it a law? And how many times do you have to see it? You know, call it a, a law of the universe or a, you know a rule to to, to go by. Um, and that, that goes back to that inductive thing. At what point? You know, is it 100 times? Is it 50 times? Okay, let's talk about scientific instrumentalists. These are also known as anti-realists. So you probably should know that. Also known as anti-realists. Okay, they argue that science does not aim at truth and that we should not regard scientific theories as true. Some anti-realists claim that scientific theories aim at being instrumentally useful and should only be regarded as useful, but not true descriptions of the world. Not true descriptions of the world. It's just, it's useful. It functions, it works for us. This is a pragmatic thing. I don't get into pragmatism really so much in here, but, you know, pragmatic uh, philosophy, this idea of, you know, test it out. If it works, we'll call it good, you know, in, in a nutshell. That's kind of what it is. This is sort of a pragmatic type of, of scientific philosophy. Uh, it's useful. It works for us. So we're going to roll with it for now. Okay, we're going to use these theories of whatever. Quantum mechanics or whatever. We're going to use them because it works. These things work. Alright? 